might be looking a little rough right now, but well, it's because I had a pretty rough day. Um, we went on a nice bicycle ride today, and the bus decided to shut off on the way home. But I had to get a tow because it was pretty sketchy where the bus was sitting. It was on a hill. The parking brake was holding, but I didn't trust it because I had parking brake issues before. I didn't want to die or anybody to get hurt, so I called a wrecker, towed it to the shop. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to let the story play out. Check it out. Well, this is not a good sign at all. We were having a bicycle ride today uh, over in Franklin, Pennsylvania, enjoying the uh, Allegheny River Trail. And on our way back, the bus just completely shut off like somebody turned the ignition off. And uh, I'm messing with the wiring and stuff, trying to see what's wrong with it, but it's not safe. We're gonna have to tow Thunder to the shop. So uh, I'll keep you all updated. So here we are getting her hooked up. The parking brake was holding, but this is a pretty steep hill, so I did put a few rocks that I could find underneath the wheels just to be safe. Uh, he's got to pull the dry shaft out. There she comes. You need the parking brake released? Yeah. Let me get this all strapped. Yep, you got her, bud. All right, he's pulling the dry shaft out now. Once that dry shaft's out, we're gonna hit the road and get this thing towed up to Zimmer's uh, at the shop and I'm gonna have to diagnose it from there and see what the hell's wrong with it. I can't work on it here, it's not very safe. A lot of traffic and uh, being on a hill like this is kind of sketch. So I will get back with you guys shortly and let you know what's going on. Hooking up the safety lights. He's got to run the cord to uh, plug it in so it's safe. I told him we could run my hazard lights, but he'd rather have it set up this way with brakes and turn signals. So, all right, Thunder, we're going to get you to the shop and see what the hell's going on. Alright guys, Thunder is safe and sound at the shop and uh, he's going to go ahead and unhook it. He's going to send me the bill and uh, I'll let you know what's going on. So once he gets her dropped down, I told him I'll take care of the dry shaft because uh, we did spot the uh, rear U-joint had a tight spot in it. So we're going to go ahead and change that before I put the dry shaft in it. So I'll update you guys later. <laughs> 